Today, I have on the podcast my friend, Sunday Jo Graham, who is also a Christian author and speaker and has lost 145 pounds. Before we can change, we have to accept that we've got a problem. So what was that like from, for you to move from wishing you could lose weight to accepting that this is gonna take, gonna take a bit of time and maybe some commitment? Sure. Uh, you know, I had been on so many diets in my lifetime. Um, I was in my early 20s and I had done, you know, everything that you can think of, the cabbage soup diet and Atkins and Nutrisystem and uh, you name it. Um, and of course they worked temporarily like every diet does. Um, then I got off of it, gained all the weight back. And so there I was stuck again. And so um, I didn't know what to do, didn't know how to get out of that trap. Um, and it took getting sick um, to finally realize, okay, I've got to do something different to realize um, the same thing that I was always doing, right? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results was I've got to do something different because what I'm doing isn't working. But also I was, um, I was raising my little cousin at the time and he was kind of some motivation because I, I think he was seven or eight. You know, when you ask a little boy, what do you want for Christmas? Usually you expect him to say, I want a, you know, Nintendo or, or whatever, you know, an Xbox. And his answer was, I want you to be able to fit on a roller coaster with me. Well, talk about punching you in the heart, right? You know, you can't, I, I felt like a failure. I couldn't provide that for him. And, okay, well, I'm going to do it. Well, guess what? I didn't. And the following Christmas came around and he asked me for the same thing. You know, he could have had anything he wanted and he asked me for that. And um, so I realized I, I had to put some skin in the game. It wasn't just about me, you know? And so he was also part of that motivation to, I have got to do something different. I'm gonna die. Let's talk about diet versus lifestyle change. Sometimes it takes a minute to figure out what lifestyle works for you, but you can do that without dieting. Why is a coach important, especially for those who have a lot of weight to lose? Because there's gonna be times you wanna quit, number one, and you need somebody to spur you on. Um, number two, it's so important to feel safe with people. I, you know, I can't speak for everybody. I can just speak for my own journey, but I would bet to say that we all have similar journeys in our root issues, in our core issues. I would bet to say that a lot of it goes back to rejection. Um, and um, it is so important to feel safe with people. We're not meant to do life alone. God did not design us to walk through life alone. He just He just didn't. He designed us to do life with people. He designed us for relationships. And so you you need people in your life to, you know, just like when Moses needed people to hold his arms up because he couldn't do it anymore. Sometimes you need people to hold your arms up because you're just too dang tired to keep fighting. And especially when you have a lot of weight to lose, you ain't going to lose it overnight. It's a process. You know, it took me two years to lose 145 pounds. I didn't do it overnight. And there were days that were hard. And and in those days, I was able to, and still, there are still parts of, of my life that I need people to hold my arms up because I'm tired.